But five, a father speaking out after this police chase ended in a deadly crash that killed his son. It started in Independence, but it ended in KC last week and tonight. A look at the woman behind the chase and deadly wreck. Police say 24 year old Victoria Brown was driving the Jeep that crashed into the other vehicle. Now questions about the steps police used to try and stop the driver who caused the crash. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez live at 23rd and Television Place with more. Andres. Mike, the violent impact flipped the victim's car where there is now a growing memorial. The victim's father, one of them, tells me that the way that police chase suspects has to change. Whatever the lady did to hit my son, she hurt a lot of people. John Johnson's family is one of four who are grieving the loss of their loved ones. Their lives cut short in a car chase. He was a good kid. He turned around and he finished and graduated from aviation school got him a job to where he can try to get his aviation license and everything and support his three kids. On Friday afternoon, Johnson was on his way to pick up his mother's car with Aaron Daniel and two others when police say 24 year old Victoria Brown driving the stolen Jeep slammed into their Dodge Avenger. The impact killed Johnson, Daniel and another man in the Dodge. It also took the life of a 27 year old passenger in the stolen SUV. It's just a real tragedy for any of them kids to leave this earth like that, you know, I don't understand and I probably won't ever understand it. Independence police have said officers lost sight of the stolen Jeep doing speeds of up to 90 miles an hour moments before the crash. According to the department's chase policy, quote, any pursuit will be discontinued when there's clearly excessive danger to anyone. Independence police are also one of the agencies in the metro that possess the star chase technology. It allows officers to track suspects with GPS instead of high speed chases. It's unclear whether the officers ever considered using it in Friday's chase. Nonetheless, Johnson's father wants something changed. The police chases, all of it has to stop. They got to figure out some other kind of way because it's innocent people are losing their lives behind this. And now the family of Aaron Daniels does plan to hold a balloon release here at the crash site on Sunday. Reporting live at 23rd and television place, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News. Andres, thank you. Independence did put out a statement in response to complaints about the police chase policy. In part, the city manager said, quote, the Independence Police Department has developed policies and procedures in regard to police pursuits that consider the safety of the public, our officers and the suspects involved. Adding that while officers practice safe procedures, that actions by a suspect possibly make each situation different.